Hi friends! The weather's been on the chilly side, so I wanted to share my collection of vintage blankets and afghans with you. My collection is always growing, and I put blankets everywhere I can. Each armchair has at least two. I've got so many that I can't hold them all, so let's get started. First up is my rainbow afghan that I got for just a dollar at a thrift shop. I love putting it out during Pride Month, and I pair it with a rainbow pillow that I sewed out of vintage pillowcases that I found. I like to change out my blankets every month or so, depending on my mood. This blanket has small scalloped edges, and the colors on this blanket are so vibrant. Okay, on to the next. The colors on this granny square blanket are beautiful. Granny squares have got to be my favorite crochet pattern of all time. It's such a classic. I found this one at a flea market for $5, which was a total steal. The color scheme is my favorite. I love pink and orange together. It's very 1970s. And next up is a blanket that I've had for years. It is ginormous and very heavy. It is a lovely shade of mint and pink, and it has the most beautiful scalloped edges. The pattern is really interesting, and there are these cute little yarn balls in the pattern. Forgive me for not knowing what the patterns are. I'm not an excellent crocheter. Uh, if you know what any of the patterns are, feel free to leave them in the comments. This chevron zigzag style blanket was a recent thrift find for $2. Have you ever seen those videos of people that turn crochet blankets into shawls or dresses that they wear? I've wanted to try doing that and I think this one would make a great dress. What do you think about cutting up blankets to make into a dress? It's a very polarizing topic. I've had this mustard blanket for almost 10 years now and I found it thrifting. I love the color mustard in my fall decor and I put it out every year for cozy vibes during the fall. I find almost all my blankets at thrift shops because they're not that hard to find, you just have to be patient and always check the linen section. I love thinking about the sweet person that worked so hard on these blankets. Okay, on to the next one. Here is the biggest blanket I own. I swear it is a king size. It is so heavy, but also so gorgeous. It's a light pink chenille blanket with fringe and it has really pretty designs on it. My grandma had a white chenille bedspread and I vividly remember that being on her bed and this blanket makes me think of her. But chenille blankets aren't really my style. I prefer colorful afghans and I keep debating whether I should sell it or not. I found this very different and unique flower power blanket at a thrift shop in Connecticut while I was on vacation. I thrift shop when I travel and I have a blog post all about how I plan thrift store road trips and I'll link that blog post below. This blanket isn't handmade and sadly it's not very comfortable. It's pilly and a little rough but the designs are so cute it actually inspired me to create my own line of flower power blankets. And here's the flower power blanket from my own line that I had designed. So this is a new blanket that I bought from my own line because I'm in love with the print and it is so cozy. It's fleece and my cats are obsessed with it. I'm not showing too much of it up close because my cats have cat hair all over it and did I mention that my cats are in love with this blanket because I laid it down for five seconds to take a video and they're all over it. Uh, this is the other blanket from my line. It's new again but vintage inspired. It's a rainbow wildflower print and the blankets were inspired by vintage sheets and they're available in fabric, blankets, wallpaper, and more. I'll link the blankets below. Last but not least is my very special crochet daisy blanket. It was on my vintage wishlist blog post where I write all the items I'm hoping to find thrifting and at flea markets throughout the year. And my mom knew I was looking for it and she found it for me at Goodwill. Daisies are my favorite flowers, so I really cherish this blanket. The pattern is so intricate and even the backs of the flowers look beautiful. The blanket itself is kind of fragile though with big stretchy gaps in between each flower, so I just use it for display. So the daisy blanket is my number one for looks. I don't love it for actually using because like I said, it's got really big holes in it. So, I mean, it kind of keeps me warm, but also it's drafty, but it's my favorite one to like throw over a super comfy chair. And I don't know, it just makes me really happy. But my actual favorite blanket is the one from my own Redbubble line, this Flower Power one. I love it because it's a fleece blanket, so it's super comfortable. Obviously, there's no holes in it. So this is one that you can actually take a nap in, um, and I've done that a lot. Also, like I said, my cats adore it. So, uh, And the other one, the rainbow wildflower one, is also great too. I switch them out. I normally will have like one in the laundry basket to clean, then I'll be using the other one. The winner for best granny square has to be this one. I mean, it was only five bucks and I love the coloring. I think it's great for spring and fall. Thrifting vintage blankets is one of my favorite ways to add color to your home and to totally change the vibe. Like this could be fall or bohemian. Then this can be flower power 70s. 
and this can be rainbow, vibrant, eclectic. I mean, all of these are really inexpensive and it can totally change the vibe and aesthetic of your home whenever you feel like it. I have a huge blog post where I have tons of tips on how to instantly add color to your home. I know changing like the paint color and stuff of your house can be super overwhelming. So I have tiny little ways that you can instantly brighten up your space and make it super colorful. Thank you so much for coming to my blanket tour. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me out uh, with starting up my YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, you'll get to see all future vintage content from me. Bye friends.